We'll begin Mass this evening with hymn number 910-910 from the hymn book. Can I invite you please to stand? Christ be beside me, Christ be before me, Christ be behind me, King of my heart. Christ be within me, Christ be below me, Christ be above me, never to part. Christ on my right hand, Christ on my left hand, Christ all around me, shield in the strife. Christ in my sleeping, Christ in my sitting, Christ in my rising, light of my life. Christ be in all hearts, thinking about me. Christ be in all tongues, telling of me. Christ be vision, in ears that see me, in ears that hear me, Christ ever be. Good evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to our celebration of Mass this evening. It's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Thank you if you join us online. We're reading, as you know, this year Matthew's Gospel, and he alternates between discourse and parable, uh, discourse with parable, and then episodes with, with lessons attached. And, We've been thinking about questions and, and answers. Um, this week, uh, another episode. It's, it's uncomfortable reading for me uh, in the sense that it requires me to examine my conscience. But I think for all of us who exercise any kind of authority in any context or in any role we have in life, um, it's, it's a good focus and a good opportunity to reflect on how we do as we are called to do uh, and what methods we use to achieve the ends that we seek to achieve. To celebrate worthily and to repent of our failure, we might celebrate the word of God and receive the Eucharist with dignity. Uh, in a fitting way, we uh, call to mind our sins and we ask God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gifts your holy people offer you right and praiseworthy service, 
Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive those things which you have promised. Our prayer we make through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Malachi. I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is feared throughout the nations. And now, priests, this warning is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not find it in your heart to glorify my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse on you and curse your very blessing. You have strayed from the way, you have caused many to stumble by your teaching. You have destroyed the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. And so I, in my turn, have made you contemptible and vile in the eyes of the whole people, in repayment for the way you have not kept to my paths, but have shown partiality in your administration. Have we not all one Father? Did not one God create us? Why then do we break faith with one another? profaning the covenant of our ancestors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty in my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, not marvels before me. Keep my soul in peace before you, O God. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. Keep my soul in peace before you, O God. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Keep my, my soul in peace before you, O God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Like a mother feeding and looking after her own children, we felt so devoted and protective towards you and had come to love you so much that we were eager to hand over to you not only the good news, but our whole lives as well. Let me remind you, brothers, how hard we used to work, slaving night and day so as not to be a burden on any one of you while we were proclaiming good news to you. Another reason why we constantly thank God for you is that as soon as you heard the message that we brought you as God's message, you accepted it for what it really is, God's message and not some human thinking, and it is still a living power among you who believe it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens, laying them on men's shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honour at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted obsequiously in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. 
You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you've only one master, and you're all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourself to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you, then, must be your servant, for anyone who humbles himself will be exalted, and anyone who exalts himself will be humbled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I had a, a very good friend. He was a priest of the Archdiocese of St Andrews in Edinburgh. He's since gone to God. And uh, he was a, an assistant priest at the cathedral in, in the heart of Edinburgh. It's a, a lovely church. If ever you're doing one of those visits to Edinburgh, it's, it's well worth a visit. And it's open all day. It has a, a relic of St Margaret in it, of course. It's a, a national, one of our national patrons uh, from, from that archdiocese. His boss, the administrator of the cathedral, was a, an old priest called um, Pat Grady. And, and Pat was a, was, a, was a nice old man, but he, he had the reputation for how he, he, he had a bit of a bark. His bark was worse than his bite, but he did have that reputation. And he always tried, he always tried to be very dignified in his, in his position um, and to exercise his authority with, with great wisdom. And, and, and he thought gentleness, but maybe it's an age thing, but he, 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 he was quite strong in, in, in the kind of things he said. And he was, he was very famous for, uh, he used to go up to the pulpit to preach, and he would rock backwards and forwards on his feet. And uh, the, the unintended consequence of that was that while he was close to the microphone, you could hear everything he said, and when he was far away from the microphone, you couldn't hear anything he said. And I know that's an issue. Some, some of you have been kind to tell me I type, Sometimes my voice drops off at the end of a sentence. You can't hear what I'm saying, so I try and, I try and avoid that. And I appreciate you letting me know, because obviously I, I can't tell uh, how you're hearing. Um, anyway, he, his, the, 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 the way he tried to exercise authority was he tried to, to, to teach. And he, he, had, he had two stock phrases, one of which was absolutely necessary, and the other was completely forbidden. And that was how his world was. It was in two halves. Everything, there were some things that were absolutely necessary and there were some things that were completely forbidden. The challenge everybody had with him was he, he'd preach and he'd say, blah, 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 and this is absolutely necessary. And the blah, 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 this is completely forbidden. But the difficulty was the only, the only words he said close to the microphone were absolutely necessary and completely forbidden. So what he was actually saying was completely lost. So you didn't know whether a thing was necessary or forbidden because you never heard what the thing was. But, but you just heard that there were there was some things necessary and there were some things forbidden. But you, you, never, you never knew which was which, <laughs> which would put people back in a slightly difficult position. But I thought, you know, there was somebody trying to exercise their authority wisely and uh, authoritatively, but it, it was it was lost. It was completely squandered. And it's it's it, when you when you have a position where. You know, I, I'm going to stand up here and try and illuminate the gospel. Um, it, 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 it's quite a task uh, to do week after week after week, and you realise that you, you, you're staking a lot on on your moral authority, uh, and if you can so easily lose that, and and I see that in a variety of ways. Um, it's one of the reasons I love working at St Benedict's uh, because the young people they they don't, as you know because you're their parents and, and their grannies and their granddads and their uncles and their aunties and their cousins, they, 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 don't, they don't stand on authority or title or, 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 or any, anything like that. They're very informal. So they just tell you how it is. And you see that with, with the teachers, uh, but it's also, it's also true with me. So you're trying to say, how will I exercise some sort of um, appropriate uh, leadership within the school? And they, they, they ask me to do seminars on attainment and leadership and that. I, you know, I'm not one of these business gurus that has all the buzzwords and the, the phrases and things like that, but you, you just try and go about your business, as you know, and sometimes, uh, I confess, you fake it till you make it, um, and, and, and you, you just try and do your best um, to, 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 to exercise your leadership um, in, in, in a way that is appropriate. 
without kind of uh, coming over to high, high and mighty or haughty or strong. Um, so, the, 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 uh, it's so it's easily lost. And so you recognize that they're in a precarious state. And as I say, I get kind of a bit uncomfortable when I listen to Malachi and I listen to Jesus uh, and I listen to Paul talking about how easy it is to squander that, uh, that capital, if you like, and to lay, live inauthentically, getting too caught up with, uh, with position and with, with title. Um, and I have to confess to being very uncomfortable with pedestals because it's too easy to fall off and um, uh, too uncomfortable with too many titles because it's, it's, it, it just, it's a barrier between you and, and people and an, a barrier to authenticity. But I do recognize people want to respect your office. Um, and, and so th- there's, that, there's that balance. Uh, how, how, how do I do it? Well, two ways. I remind myself that there are a variety of ways which the gospel goes about trying to help people understand what their situation is and reflect upon it. And that's what we do week to week. Um, and as I said to you before, I, I have an aversion for telling people what to do and what not to do directly. I, I think people that I don't I think they're normally able to make the right decisions for themselves properly informed. So I'm not going to use Pat Brady phraseology. I'm not going to say absolutely necessary and completely forbidden um, if I can avoid it. Why? Because it, it, it's too easy to, to, to make a, a fool of yourself. It's too easy to, to come across as inauthentic um, and, 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 and unworthy of, of, of the respect that, that is given you by virtue of your office. Um, so I've got a prayer that I say. And I've got a method that I use. The method is, when, when Jesus says, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, to, to someone like us in the West, Western world, perfection comes from knowledge and understanding. We're clever, that we, we're more perfect, the more clever we are, the more things we know, the more intelligent we, 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 we become. In, in the world that Jesus lives in, the Semitic world, perfection is not knowledge and understanding and wisdom. Perfection is integrity. It's the inside of you matches the outside. In other words, you do what you say, and you say what you do. And, and I think if you do that, then you have a moral authority. So you're careful that what you, what you model at the gospel are not just words, but they're also actions. Try that. Um, and I know, I know that you are, you are sensitive that you will guide me and you will encourage me. And I'm sure if I, if I started making a fool of myself or being unfaithful to the gospel or, or the teaching of the church, you would be happy to point it out to me in a gentle fashion. The second thing then I do is, part of my morning prayer every day is, God, don't make me so much of a father that I cannot be your child. Uh, don't make me so much of a teacher that I cannot be a disciple. Don't make me too much of a canon that I cannot be a carer. Uh, and that, that's just a wee mantra that, that I say to myself because when everybody says yes father, no father, three bags full father, which is rewardingly rare by the way, <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep your feet in the ground. So thank you for not doing the former and for helping me do the latter because that way we grow together as the Lord's disciples sensitive to the gospel and to the demands that any task or any authority or any office give us. So um, we pray for ourselves and for each other we can be authentic messengers of the gospel and disciples of the Lord Jesus according to his heart and mind and not according to any structure um, of power or of ambition for such in all our lives for each other and ourselves we pray this evening To pray for our needs, we stand. Keep the church faithful to the revelation made known in Scripture. Bless all who preach and make them worthy messengers of the good news. 
Grant that all Christian people shall hear and receive the word with reverence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Give to those in authority the grace to know that their power will not last forever and to use it for the good of others. Teach all people so to read the signs of the present time and that there shall be wise planning for the future. Bless individuals and societies who work for the distribution of Bibles throughout the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Help us in the duty of Bible reading and study to grow daily in obedience to its word. Bless all in this community who are spreading the faith by teaching and example. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Pardon all who have lost the faith they once had and no longer seek to know God's word. Bring them back to the true path where their lives will find meaning. Have mercy on all who are persecuted for their Christian teaching. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have come to the end of their time on earth and seen the glory of the Son of Man. May they be joyful in the eternal life, which is the promise of Scripture. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. To these our general intercessions, we had prayer for our own particular and local needs. We remember those who have asked us to pray for them, especially those whom we know to be in particular need at this time and those of our families and friends. Pray for those who join us online, particularly if they are unwell or caring for others, either in their own families or by virtue of their vocation, care home, hospital, or other setting of formal care. Pray for ourselves and for each other that any office or task that we have, we can exercise with responsibility and with integrity, accountability to each other, and fraternal care. And we pray finally for our dead. We remember those who have died recently, and those whose anniversaries occur around now, especially those we've been asked to remember in prayer. And in this month of November, of course, we remember all our deceased relatives and friends, all who have been an example to us and an encouragement to us. That they may all know the presence of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Father, you call us to be your people and to serve you with integrity and with honesty. Keep us faithful, we pray, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Let's pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, accept the sacrifice at our hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings, Lord, become for you a true offering of us, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For through the Paschal Mystery you accomplished the marvellous deeds by which you have freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of now all being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with the angels, the thrones, the dominions, hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as together with all the saints we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph our Spouse, the Apostles, and all the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to, we may merit to be co-heirs to life eternal and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For the coming of God's kingdom, we pray in the words the Lord Jesus taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. I am the Lord. I am the Lord that he left thee. I am the Lord that he left thee. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust. In thee, O Lord, I put my trust in thee, O Lord, I put my trust. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these sacraments, we may be prepared for your gifts, for receiving what they promise. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for your presence this evening. Uh, thank you for joining us online. I can invite you to take a copy of the bulletin or familiarise yourself with the latest notices um, online or on the website. Uh, there's just one thing that is occurring before next weekend to draw to your attention. That's uh, next Saturday is the 11th of November. It's um, well, not Remembrance Day. Um, so there's a service at the, the site of what will be our war memorial um, with a little cups of wood uh, across the, the road from um, Tesco's car park uh, on the, can the corner of the Candron Road. Um, that will be next Saturday uh, from quarter to eleven till quarter past eleven. And you're, you're all invited. We ask God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu. All I have I give you, every dream and wish are yours. Mother of Christ, Mother of mine, present them to my Lord. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, 
Benediktatus.